<laughs> the fucking cancer menu. Alright. Feel of you. 100? 100 is a weird one, right? Fuck it, I'll do 90. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for that dog and those motherfucking kids. But really, for the man in the top hat and mask, he killed Judge Norman right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? Where did everyone go? Does not represent the final game. I heard them. Oh, it's now. Oh, no, no, no. Like father, like son, it is you that should have died there. What the fuck is going on? Game of Thrones. Can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dad. What the hell is going on? Detective! You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. There are so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. His room number? Aha! More matches. Can they do they have to have this disclaimer in the top for the whole fucking demo? It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room two oh seven. So this was the reception. It's Welcome him. To you, Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Yes, because people are what they are. True. Oops. A missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. A lot of people critique shit when the game is just in testing phase. Guess room 207 is this way. Where the fuck are the room numbers? Good. No one should be alone. Room 207. It should be on the second floor. And the stairs are to my right. 
right next to the creepy guy. Do you know the way, sir? Right outside 207. Which is the door. Damn, there's a chain. Fucking lock the door. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bitch. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Four dead in the mine explosion. Nothing here. They got here. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, dude. Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Absinthe. Pain curer. Should be. Cures a lot of pain. Yes, coming. Oh shit, look at that. What the hell is this? Looks like a slaughter. Good god. Something's wrong here. I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. The first magazine edited by patients. Welcome to you, Oh shit. A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles because there's a change in padlock. This should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Ain't the force and build, but you know what? Don't we'll smash take it, it for now. so brave in these games right I would just leave the house after the first guy jump scares me like an insane person Physics are pretty good. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. I didn't see him. I feel sorry for the poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. Maybe you should leave them alone. Huh? Welcome to Maybe you're scaring them. 
can be used to access room 106 and the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Maybe because I haven't slept much, but uh, to you, all these furnitures and stuff moving and shit don't scare me that much. Just the actual ghosts. Can't believe you've done this. Now what? Wait, this is where I came from now. Aha, wing A. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Is this a ghost or did, did I completely lose my mind? Both. Do not open. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. The f that fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. Anger. Hey. Why is this shining so much? <laughs> Should I not open this? I wonder if this is one of those like Resident Evil things where I now spawn Mr. X. And I could have done the other shit first. They have surprisingly many matches and, and gasoline, and fuel, whatever, for a completely lit mansion, hotel. Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he is dead now, but who might have killed him? An even deadlier assassin. Is just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. These are all famous paintings. This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Looks like he died a long time ago. Really? It looks like he died like half a year ago or something. These 
damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. He's duck under this one. Oh, I was thinking, should I take out his what? wedge cutter? I couldn't just get up and walk away. Ah! Let me go. Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. We can make papers lies. What the fuck? I need some kind of sharp tool. I lost. What? The fuck? I couldn't just get up and walk away. Ah! Let me go. Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. We can make papers lies. I can't believe it. This isn't happening. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Can't believe it. Yeah, come on, Vines. Oh. There we go. Closet. I mean, it's laundry day. That is pretty scary, actually, when I think about it. George's office. Who is that? Oh shit! All right, here we go, Skyrim. Using the mouse. Place the lockpick under one of the cylinders, move up and down to raise the cylinder. When the cylinder crosses the cut line, block it quickly using the left mouse button. Cut line. What is the cut line? Which one of the three? Oh, this is the cut line. Oh, that's pretty easy. Oops. Hello? What? Welcome to Uganda. What? Which is the cut line? Oh. Hmm. 
It has to be very close. Alright, I get it. Hello, motherfucker. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? Welcome to you, Condor. Maybe. Can be used to access the reception and rooms 107, 208, and 302. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Alright, seems easy. Cruel murder. Jacob Hyde. A mine in owner had excuse of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded passed away upon arrival at the inn. Five hundred dollar reward is being offered. Five hundred dollars. Those are some massive bounties, yo. Welcome to you, Jacob Hyde. And George with it, April 4th. That's right, bitch ass motherfuckers. Can't catch up to a god gamer. Are those diamonds? They must have cost a fortune. And that Jacob? Who was he? Was it my father? Or one of the guests? If it was my father, then that would make Madeline his. I don't want to picture that. The fuck is Madeline? Take the diamonds. Who could that be? Was she a guest at the end? Did she forget to take her necklace from her room? Aha! Aha! Now what? Ghost fuckers. Think I can't enter the, th the third floor right away? Big mistake. Stayed in. Whatever keys it remains. The detective was staying in room two or three. That's upstairs. Two or two. Like 
Aces. Key for room 203 is missing. Maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. Genius. I must find out how much Gilman knew. Does make sense. This should be room floor two, right? Yeah. Fucking open. Aha. Uh -huh. from supernatural ghosts. Is this 202? Fuck if I know. Think so. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A minor incident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever what since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. But it never checked out. I hope the detective left something here. During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts. Ever since the explosion at the mine, he began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would confirm his suspicions. The detective went to the mine that day. Hmm. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Go down into the mine. That's just dine in the mine. Locked. I should look for another exit in this room. The 
good luck duck. I'm not a rapper. Welcome to you, Welcome to you, Kunder. This can't be real. <laughs> I should add this as an emote. <laughs> it's next level little W. A cleaver? Mad. Mad just bad. Yeah. Wouldn't it be less effort to walk over this? <sighs> what the fuck? Is this Dark Souls now? Now you do fucking right click. Shit. My my reflexes are too fast. I have to run. I have to run. Again. 
Oh my god, he has the pizza cutter from Bloodborne. That shit is so peak. Looking forward to it. Seems like a good little playthrough. <laughs> Alright. That wasn't very long. Bella Sleepy Dome Streams just looks like the writers of Midan got this one too.